Emotions. We've all experienced emotions in our lives. It dictates a big part of our human experience. How do we handle these emotions? And it is certainly is a mystery to us. As it affects our body physically, our process of reality, and can influence our behaviors, which can be used for healing or can be used for damaging. Emotions can be felt in the mind, obviously, but it can also be felt in other places. Using thermal imagery, scientists are able to see exactly where emotion lights up the body in a heat signature. And they found that our core is a big portion of where we experience emotions, not just our head. They also found its connection of energy and certain organs. Positive emotions, like love, can literally be felt throughout the entire body and increase our blood flow and oxygen to certain places. It can also change the way our chemistry in our brain, which can increase the production of gray matter in our brain, which is a good thing because it can enhance our memory, our logical thought process, and our reasoning. It can make us feel happy. Happy hormones are necessarily a good thing. However, and too, too much happy hormones can overstimulate the heart and can even cause heart palpitations over time. It is all about a fine balance. Negative emotions, however, can do the opposite effect, can make your body look cold under thermal imagery. Psychology Today writer Hilary Handel has mentioned the connection between emotions and our physical properties of our organs. Anxiety can be tied into our lungs and our large intestine. Anger can be concentrated light within the core. It can also change the chemistry in our brain and and produce less hormone to bring in building cells and shrink certain parts of our brain like our hippocampus which is used for memory and for critical thinking it can literally shape the brain now our body processes emotions throughout energy and lighting up certain points, but it can also, emotions have play a big part in our thought of reality, which is a huge aspect of our lives, because it can affect our social well-being, it can affect how we think of the world. Perceiving others' intentions towards you through this emotional lens, do they want to help you or do they want to hurt you in a relationship? Using your emotions without a balance can sway one extreme way to the next. Now, if you're feeling like the world is against you and this emotion of somewhat self-pity, you can take on this inferior complex, which can be very damaging to the relationship because it can cause an off balance towards your mutual love towards the other person. If someone is sad, small disturbances can become like a tragedy to them. If someone feels stupid, they can take on this thing called emotional distortion. They can believe they are stupid. And in that case, it can affect their relationships with really anyone they meet because they, if they believe they are stupid, other people will believe they are stupid. If you are unself-confident, other people can pick up on that. It's a very interesting thing. Now, emotions can lead to, to many behaviors as well through our mind processes and these behaviors can be very negative and damaging but they can also help benefit and restore our bodies we have so much built up energy from these emotions doing behaviors such as artistic expression can engage the parasympathetic nerve system inside of us and that can bring our body to a state of rest or digest and that, in turn, can promote healing within us. Because when we are in the rest of digest phase, 
we're not stressed about things. We're not sending soldiers in random directions, soldier cells. We're, we're just relaxed, so our body has a better chance to pinpoint on healing and recovery than dispersion. Calming down when coloring reduces anxiety, engages the parasympathetic nervous system. Music, if you listen to music or do music, it can access your subconscious. Thus, you can find emotions stored in there that you didn't even really know about and release them positively and they don't build up and then they don't affect your relationships. They don't damage your body by creating constant stress cortisol. Using these, these coping Positive coping mechanisms can greatly improve your life. Positive thinking, positive thinking can make you do more positive things, make you help out your body more. Positive thinking can come from when your parasympathetic nervous system is engaged. Under the Encyclopedia of Philosophy, Art, and Emotion, it discusses the relationship between behavioral art and emotion and how healthy it is for your body. Same with what is emotional expression by the University of Kansas Health System. They both agree that it's good to release these things. That is all built up there. It's good to release them. Hope counteracts despair, and despair is damaging the parts of the body. A happier mindset stimulates more blood flow and oxygen and regulates blood pressure. I hope you can realize the importance of emotions in your life and how to understand it, to harness its power, because it's a powerful thing, and to propel yourself forward in life. We are all on a self-seeking journey, and emotion is our most mysterious stranger. We can, it can affect us physically. It can also affect how we see reality, and it can affect our behavioral changes and even can promote healing if we allow it. 